first thing you want to do anytime that you install a new update on your phone is go to the Galaxy Store and check and see if there are any app updates. You'll want to make sure that you update those so that it interacts with the new system update to make sure that you're getting full potential out of the update. So let's go ahead and click on the Galaxy Store. Okay, and we'll go ahead and try that again. So into the Galaxy Store, then we're gonna click on the menu button down here in the lower right. Then we're gonna click on updates. And let's take a look. So we can see that there are quite a few updates in here. Some are for non-Samsung apps. You can see here that for good luck, we have Notice Star. We have an update for the Shop Samsung app, Theme Park, Routines Plus, and then we have some other app updates here. Uh, we do have the link to Windows, which that you will use if you're using the Samsung DeX. So we'll go ahead and click on Update All. We'll let those go ahead and update. And then once those are done, uh, we can go ahead and jump in to what's new. So one of the things with the latest beta I'm hoping to see, and I'm not sure if this was something that they incorporated or not, because it's not listed under the new features, is the ability to have the dynamic lock screen clock. 